Hey everybody, it's the d 100. Welcome back to our Pokemon Fire Red in the last episode. We did a lot of stuff that we could finish up at Vermilion City and finally took care of the Vermilion City Gym and also went over to Pewter City to pick up an old Amber. In this episode, we're going to be continuing on to Route 9. So, welcome to Route 9. Um, I believe that there is one new Pokemon that you can find out here. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, stay tuned later on today and I'll show you the bios for any new Pokemon that I've run into um, later on. Sorry if I'm kind of holding up on you guys and I have nothing to talk about at the moment. I'm actually going to have a little help screen up here that'll help me. Okay, actually, I am wrong. There is no new Pokemon that you can find out here. Gee, I are totally smart. Now, ah, well. Not a problem. Alright. Just got a Fell Sprout. I didn't do a lot of off screen training because I had really no need to do it quite yet. But, well. Two each is on. Um. Jeez. Giant punch to the vine! Critical hit! Ooh. That's gonna leave it some marks. Um. Here. He's a wild ape is having a lot of. Jeez! He's having a lot of luck out here. Despite the fact that it's a female, I don't care. I don't pay attention to genders. Nor its natures. Um, let's give Pikachu some time to shine. The Pikachus are not really going to be that useful for this particular episode, especially for what we're getting into later on. Watch it in a little bit, never mind. <sighs> Why did that not paralyze it? Oh well. I, now I gotta say real quick, Rap is one of the most broken attacks in the original red and blue. Or green and yellow if you were... I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch my team around. Now as I said before, ooh, I know, what is this? TM40, Aerial Ace! Great move, and crap. Uh, speaking of flying types, um, I actually have an idea for a flying type that I'm going to get later on. I'm not going to spoil for what it is, but it's a pretty good Pokemon. Machops! Okay. I would really wish that Pikachu would actually learn a more decent electric type move. I could probably teach it... Um... What am I thinking of? Uh, Shockwave. But... It's not really that much of a good electric type move, really. Oh, there's that through my personal experience, but, yeah. Okay, Machop, you can die now! Okay. There we go! Okay. Onyx. Ooh. Um, go for one. Why do I sound real boring today? I don't know, this... Probably because in that this weekend has just been all over the place these days, like... Especially in the last episode, and... Oh! Okay, I just thought it said bite for a moment. Because that would have been bad. Well, actually, it probably wouldn't matter because it's just got to go down in this turn. There we go. Probably could have used low kick before, but... Eh. Whatever. Jeremy! Hey, that's one of my friends from campus. Okay. Ugh, okay. Go, my super bug Pokemon. Oh, goody! I finally get to see a really good bug type Pokemon for once. Caterpie! Why is that thing not a Butterfree? It's level 20! Come on! What's wrong with you people? Okay. Oh, okay, that was quick. Um. Uh, uh, wait, all oh! Boring! Um. 
Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, I'm going for another one already. <sighs> Something fell off of my desk. Oh well, get the guy. I was really hoping to have to have a challenge. Oh, Venonet! We haven't ran into this thing yet. I guess I could talk about Venonet, but I'm going to say no. Gotta wait until we can actually find one in the wild. Oh! Something tells me Venonet did not like that. Ugh. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Man. This Venonet is just about as crazy as that Venonet that made his first appearance in the anime. Uh, there we go. Oh, I swear, if you did not do it another time, I would have been really ticked off. Yay! 25. One level short of my strongest. Now, I... That's the one tried. I have an antidote in here. Do I? Nope. Do I have anything in my berries? Yes, I do. Hooray for the uses of berries. I haven't really been using a lot of berries these days. Uh, right here. If I can. Can I? Oh, come on. All right. Hang on. There we go. Just a berry. I believe that cures confusion. I don't believe that guy's a trainer, but whatever. Route 10. Now, I know for fact that there is a new, one new Pokemon that you can find out here, but I'm not going to talk about that, alright? Now, what's really great about a place like this, you actually can heal up right here, and you can also get yourself a any Pokemon that you need to get in for this upcoming dungeon. Which is awfully nice. Who are you? Oh, Jack, I've been looking for you. It's me, one of the ever-present aides of Professor Oak. Collected out of 20 species, supposed to reward... Everstone! This thing is useless. Especially to me. Um, look, look, before I go, we are gonna need Flash for this place. I believe that it and there's one other place that uses Flash. Wait! I just come on Flash? Really? I mean, I, I know that it can learn it in, um, in, um, Pokemon Stadium, but... Wow. It's kind of shocking. Who would have thunk? Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and avoid that trainer. I'll take care of her off screen. And... What's this? Cherry Berry! That cures... Um, paralysis. Welcome to Rock Tunnel! Rock Tunnel has... Two floors in it. And this is where the use of flash comes in handy. Um wait, you're not. There we go. I can see <laughs> No? That was wrong. Wait. Actually, yeah, I need to go ahead. I don't even know what I'm doing! What am I doing? <laughs> Okay, there we go. I have a dementia, apparently. Um. Okay. Hey, another repel! I like it. Okay, this guy right here. This guy's a Pokemaniac. Look at this guy. Dude, keep your child boy hey, fetishes to yourself. Jeez. Somebody bad enough as it is since you resemble a Charizard. Ugh. And speaking of Charizard, I gotta say, his Mega Evolutions in X and Y, I'm surprised that he didn't get one like all the others. Probably because it was a major demand from his fans to actually give him a Fire Dragon type. But personally, you guys are probably going to be mad at me for this. I'm going to get a lot of bad comments from that saying, but I'm going to say, I prefer the Y over the X, personally. Don't be a hater. Slowpoke? Have we run into this yet? I don't know. As the name implies, it is really freaking slow. 
We haven't encountered one in the wild yet, but I believe we encountered one something like this before. Okay. That was the weirdest growl I've ever heard. But I won't. What kind of uh, world do these people live in? Oh right, the Pokemon world. We all live in a Pokemon world. I promise to never do that again. Ugh. Oh, lordy lordy. Okay. There we go! Because you go to level 24! Game over. Bet game over. Okay. Um, I'm going to hope to try to reach Lavender Town by the end of this episode. I'm going to try my absolute best. Alright, at least they're giving. At least I got plenty of. uh. repels. I believe you could get some more in the upcoming town, which is. actually right up ahead. Another slowpoke! Boring! Give me a challenge! Like, I was already disappointed in the fact that that bug trainer there showed me a canopy and a weedle that clearly shouldn't have been butter free and bee drills. Now, that veteran, however, I can. Jesus, I can understand. Alrighty. There's that weird growl again. Okay. There we go. Woo, I'm exhausted. Exhausted for what? For trying to find a way around this cave? REVIVE! Nice item! Uh, the revive will... Uh, revive your Pokemon by half of its full HP, which is an awesome item to have. Alright, Martha, what do you got? An Oddish. Or Ordish, is what I like to call it now. Sweet scent! I gotta admit, probably one of the most weirdest moves ever. In, in this game, I believe you can use this, uh, while not battling. Why would you put a Pikachu to sleep? I don't know. Uh, let's, let's go with Wild Egg, because I believe he has the ability to not be able to fall asleep. Um, is that, um, uh, Insomnia? Something like that? I don't know. I think it's something like that. But, let's punch its weeds. That was kind of weird how I said it. <laughs> that is kind of weird. Bulbasaur? How did you get your hands on a Bulbasaur? I want a Bulbasaur. In fact, I gotta say, Bulbasaur? Many people consider him the most underrated Generation 1 starter Pokemon. I know there's a lot of love for Charmander, and I know there's an incredible amount of love for uh, Squirtle. But there's hardly any for Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is the best Pokemon to go for in this particular game. And there's hardly any love for him. Gotta be a little bit bad for him. Alrighty. Oh, I lost. Yeah, you lost. Um, do I have anything that'll... Yes, I do. Awakens from sleep. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and heal up my Pokemon real quick. Quick. Here we go. And you. Come on. Now, as you can clearly tell, I'm not using my killer mole at the moment because it's severely overpowered. And wow, I avoided that trainer. Jeez. Let's go. Um, is there anything over here? Guess not. Ugh, I'm running out of repels. I only got five more. Got to make them count. Um. Ah. I was blocked, and I had to choose one. I hope you're the easiest one, because I really like to go through this entire but Okay, you got one. Geodude, level 25. Okay. Not a problem. I can take it on. Let's go for Tortuga. Joke's on you! I got myself water-type moves, which are special in this game. 
Yeah! Okay. There we go. I give! You're a better technician. I'm good at something. Okay. Um, I believe that there's... I like that! I really like that! Well, you think that you're far enough to avoid that trainer? This camera's like, nope. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And oh, Lord and Ludi. Biggest Pokemon in this game. Well, kind of. Well, at least in the main story, of course. Ooh, Screech. Lowers your defense by a lot. Three levels, I think. Wait, voice! I hope my voice ain't going. Uh, that's probably going to be the bane of my existence for what's coming up much later on. Another Onyx? How many Onyxes do you have? Two more? Maybe? Well, at least they give me some challenges here. Well, actually, never mind. They did give me enough challenges. Keep that. My dog's walking up upstairs. He's getting old. I'm surprised he hasn't started whining yet. And hopefully my voice can stop cracking. Ooh, rock throw. Throwing rocks. I heard that's supposed to be a pretty interesting um, game that many people used to play many years ago. Oh, wait, that's dirt. <laughs> Favorite toy in the past. It, dirt. And we were happy! Yay, go to level 27! Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I believe a Wild Ape is actually getting pretty close to its evolution. Um, uh, what was this? Escape Bro! Pretty good item. Um, uh, let's play that guy. And last, uh, it's a repel. Rinse and repeat. Oh, wow. Okay, now I believe that there's someone down here that I want to talk to. Not you, lady! You can bend twigs as trail markers. Or you can get yourself a freaking escape rope! I actually had no idea what she really said. And oh, Jigglypuff! Ugh, that weird Pokemon that used to be crazy in the anime. I forgot it has a special wall. I, uh, probably should have thought twice. Twice is nice. I also gotta be careful because this thing, um, uh, has one other ability. Okay, I guess we'll never find out. Um, the move that I'm talking about, um, it has an ability that it causes the Pokemon to fall in love with you upon physical contact. I forget what that's called, but it doesn't matter. I'll manage. And I believe after this Pokemon, my Pikachu will- Whoa! Critical hit! Nice. Should be level 25... Yeah! And hey, it's the number registered into the Pokédex. Meow is up next. Now I gotta say, in the anime, Meowth just became more violent than ever. It's becoming like one of the most creepiest mobsters out there. And I kind of find that rather creepy. Okay. Hey, Sophia. I like that name. Uh, this guy. When you're up on a rocky mountain like this, rock slides are a threat. Can you imagine boulders tumbling down on you? That'd be like. What? Total terror. You don't seem to be scared. Wanna try using Rock Slide? This is actually a pretty decent decent attack. And hey! Um, which one should I teach it to? Hmm. Actually, no, I'm gonna go ahead and teach it to Wild Ape because it could be useful against flying types, so uh, let's think here. Yeah! Let's give it a fury swipes. Jeez, we're almost up to 20 minutes already? Jeez, this place is going by real fast. Um, my good lord. 
Looks like I'm gonna spend the entire episode going through this entire tunnel. Actually, you know what? I'll go a little bit longer. Because I want to do some good amount of progress in here. I don't care. I'm going to go a little bit farther on. I'm gonna show you guys every battle in here, okay? I don't care what any of you are saying. I'm changing things up. Actually, you know, someone's going to itch me to do Pokemon Yellow. In fact, I can already see it happening now. Me doing Pokemon Yellow. Ugh. Actually, you know what? Pokemon Yellow is the only Pokemon game that ties in with the series quite well. And I... I gotta admit, it's actually rather decent. But it's still not great. There we go. I think Wild Ape is on... I think I've already said that right, but Wild is getting pretty close to, um... To its evolution. Whoa, Graveler. The evolution of Geodude. Whoa, critical hit! Jeez, Wild Ape, you rock. Nice. Seismic Toss, nice. Um, let's get rid of... A little tripping kick that inflicts more damage on heavier opponents. Level. Hmm. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to not learn a seismic toss. Not really a good fighting type move anyway. Dudley. Kinda looks like it's big like Dudley from Harry Potter. <laughs> Alright, we should be getting close to the end of the dungeon. Should I? I don't know. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, 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 uh. uh, not quite sure what that item was, but I'll get it off screen. Want to avoid these trainers. We're almost there. What's this? Yay, they found a pearl! Cost a good amount of money. I'll take it. And unfortunately, this is the last trainer that we can get to, I think. Not 100% sure, but I will. Three Pokemon. Another Meow. Okay. Oh boy. Whoa! That did a lot of damage. Come on. Oh! Payday! What? <laughs> he threw money at Pikachu and he paid it! Ah! That's funny. That's funny. I love that. That is too funny. Oh, man! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> okay. So you're using a paralysis, and then you're hindering its evasiveness. Good thing you don't have confusion of any kind. See, that's the thing. Confusion is one of the most annoying status-inflicting moves. Or status problems, I should say. That really annoys the freaking heck out of me. Sometimes I get mad. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys knew that already, and if you've seen any of my previous LPs, you would know that. Let's give Rock Slide a try. Well, I guess you could clearly say that worked out well. I'm out of Pokemon. You're out of something. Alright, now I believe there's something out. Oh, my goodness. Actually, no. Is there anything back here? Nope. Get out of here, but. Aww, oh, why does I say? Whoa! Onyx! I actually thought for a moment that it almost looked like a shiny. And I would've been like, oh my god, that would've been so cool. Okay. Yeah! We made it out safe and sound. What is it here? Nabberry? Or Nanabberry? I don't know. Oh, come on! I wasn't trying! At least you don't have a Charmander on you, otherwise I would have been really upset. I mean, like I said, I don't mind Charmander. I just think that he gets way too much attention. 
for several reasons that I'm pretty sure you guys know already. Hey! You're not supposed to hit me with your skull on your head. That way we would say about what you really are. See, that's the thing. I've always wondered. What is underneath Cubone's, uh, skull? Like, I know that it's the skull that he wears. It's supposed to resemble, um, its mother's skull. Like, from when it dies. Or something like that. I don't know. There's just something about it just kind of rubs me somewhere that I don't like it. In fact, one of the saddest things about Cubo, its original name was meant to be Orphan. Yes, I'm not kidding. Orphan. That is just really dark. Couldn't they come up with something else rather than so dark for um, Cubo? Oh wow, it, it doesn't really matter. Alrighty. Oh man. Oh no, my Pokemon! Bye bye. Freak. Alright, so we made it to Lavender Town. Uh, now that we've reached Lavender Town, there's a couple of things that I want to show you real quick, and then we'll end things off. I'm sorry that we didn't get a lot of progress done in this because I showed all those battles. Um. But yeah. Uh, right here, we have Lavender Volunteer Pokemon House. I'll show you this real quick. Ryu. This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. Where does that sound familiar? Um. Right here, we got the Lavender Tower right here. Lavender Tower is technically the ne next dungeon. So, I'm not going to show much in here. And, oh. God, it's Tyler. Uh, I'm not gonna battle him yet, but I'm actually gonna save this place for later on. Alright, so. We're gonna end things off right here. I'm sorry that we can get a lot of it done already, but. Oh well. And also, out here is Route 8. Route 8 has a couple of new Pokemon, but I'll take care of those in a bio, so stay tuned. I'll get those bios ready, alright? So, next time, we're gonna be making our way to Celadon City, alright? See you guys then. One more thing. Before I officially end things off, I want to show you guys something real quick. This place. This is the official name writer. Um, guess that's a nickname into a Pokemon. Uh, this guy I is going to be helpful for the next episode because I plan on nicknaming my Pikachu something. If you have any ideas for a nickname, tell me in the comments below. Alright? Alright, see you guys in the next episode.